panoramic film photos. Panoramic film photos. Okay. What would happen if you put 35 millimeter film into a six by six medium format camera? Nothing. But if you got this $3 AliExpress adapter, a whole new wide world opens up to you. You see what I did there? Hey, my name is Sheil, and a couple weeks ago I tried to take panoramic film photos with my 6x6 medium format camera using 35mm film. Let me show you what I did. What you need, a medium format camera, a 35 millimeter film of your choice, a 35 millimeter to 120 spool adapter, and a dash of patience. If you haven't used a TLR before, on the Ashika A, you would normally roll out the film until you see the next shot number. There's a little arrow that starts it up when you close it, and you can see the backing paper through this little window. Now, 35 millimeter film does not have backing paper, so, I had to make a little measuring device. This is said measuring device. <laughs> Photography's fun, right? I used this old roll of film, uh, put some tape over it here, and rolled it through to see where the frames would be. I made a little marker at the start of each next frame, and then counted how many times I needed to turn the winder on the side to get to the next frame. Ended up being about 1.75 full turns between images to get a decent space between each frame. And I made a little marker of that just to remind myself and kept it on the side. And then I just shot as normal. The first image was unfortunately this one. Didn't roll enough out, I guess. That happens. Maybe the first little bit was exposed. Oh well. Because the film rolls from the bottom to the top on this camera, when looking through the camera normally, the photo is going to end up vertical. To take a landscape image, I would actually have to hold the camera sideways like that. Not comfortable. And it's already a mirror, so it's already backwards. But now going like this, it's not only backwards, but it's upside down. It's very tough to get the right framing on anything. Here's a picture of me sitting on the street trying to get this picture. Honestly turned out really good though, so... I'm not upset. For some reason, after three photos, the winder would get stuck. I think it's just because of how the adapter is. Uh, it was pressing on the back of the camera, so it was hard for the film to keep coming out. Every three pictures, I would have to kind of open it up just slightly enough, wind it, then close the back again. In a dark bathroom or wherever I was in my backpack I did it too. Would not recommend that. Probably did lead to some of these light leaks at the edges of each picture. It was getting a bit bright, but it is what it is, you know? I got a total of 10 images from this one roll of Kentmere 400. These are keepers, I think. It's cool and fun and might not be worth the effort, but that's just film, you know? <laughs> Hi, welcome to the segment. And this segment is at the end of every video I make, and I'll be telling you something cool that I've seen or watched or heard or been a part of since the last video. This week, I saw a cool bit of graphic design. I love a good bit of graphic design. And I noticed something cool. Two things, actually. Let's start with Balls Falls. I went to on a hike to Balls Falls in the Niagara area. This is the Balls Falls sign. There are two waterfalls here in Balls Falls, the Upper Falls and the Lower Falls, and they represented that with the letter L's. With the upper and the lower, <laughs> with the L's, I think it's great. I think it's really nice. Just a really nice sign. And contrary to that, is this sign for Cosmic Crisp Apples. It's bad. I don't know about you, but I've never been marketed apples before. Have you? Snacking, baking, entertaining? What? <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Amazing flavor. Infinite possibilities? What? 